Coming up on the bottom line, we're talking to Jason Heiner and Seth Porges about the death of the desktop computer. Times are tough, so save time and money by skipping business trips and using GoToMeeting. Visit gotomeeting.com slash tech podcast and get 30 days for free. Top Google Europe exec says that in three years time, desktops will be irrelevant. Seth, what do you think about this comment? Well, it totally makes sense. Right now, there's only basically one advantage that a desktop gives over a laptop for most users, and that's a giant screen. And what's going to happen soon is people are going to realize, hey, I've got a TV. It's even bigger than my desktop screen. Why don't I just use my TV for everything I was using my desktop for? So people are going to have big, powerful laptops, tablets, smartphones, and what we're going to see are really cool and easy ways of interfacing our portable computers with our big screen TVs, and then a desktop is going to kind of go the way of the wayside unless you're a CAD engineer or something like that. A CAD engineer, not, not cat engineer like I thought he said. <laughs> cat. No, cat, cat, cat engineering is still very fringe, risky, Dr. <laughs> Island of Monroe stuff, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, a new study from Gartner says that portable computers, notebooks, and tablets will make up 70% of computers by 2012. Jason, do you think that desktops are really going to be a fringe device in just a few years? Well, they're not going to be. They're going to be a fringe device in terms of new sales. There's still a lot of desktops out there, and they're going to live for a long time, um, especially in corporate environments. But more and more, we're already seeing this with people that buy computers, especially consumers uh, primarily, are not buying desktops anymore. They're buying um, laptops and in some cases um, mobile phones um, or netbooks um, and possibly even you know, these tablets to replace what they used to do uh, for their kind of standard home computing um, and in some cases you know, small office, home office kind of computing as well. Seth, for the most part, I kill laptops. I use lots of apps. I use them all at once. Do you think that portable devices will be powerful enough to replace desktops? Well, I guess for most people, maybe not me. Yeah, absolutely. Moore's law is well, way, way, way in effect right now. What most people do with their computers is really not that intense. It's sort of like the old cliche, which is really not true about the brain, that most people use only 10% of it. With computers, it kind of actually is true. People, they watch Hulu, they play music. Not many people are doing video editing of high-definition video or crazy heavy Photoshop stuff. Those people may need desktops a little bit longer than everybody else, but if you just want media, you just want internet browsing, you just want email, word processing, you can do that in just about any lab laptop right now, and they're going to be really cheap, they're already cheap, they're going to be even cheaper, they're going to be even more powerful, and in a couple of years, the most powerful desktops today are going to be as powerful as whatever laptops are out then. That's kind of scary. If you give a person a computer without an internet access, they're like, what do I do with this? Yeah. Jason, what kind of setup yep. are you rolling with? Are you carrying around a notebook, a mobile phone, a combination, or are you a desktop diehard? No, I, so, you know, I'm, I'm obviously abnormal because working in the, in the tech field. Um, I have a, a MacBook Pro laptop, 17 inch, so it's really kind of a desktop replacement. Um, and then I have a my work laptop, which is a ThinkPad, um, a little 15 inch, and then I carry a Blackberry and an iPhone. So um, yeah, I, I, I roll the whole thing. How about you, Seth? What, what are you carrying around? Are you actually strapping an iMac to your back? Yeah, I'm one of those guys who has like a portable, you know, wearable computer. No, um, for work at our office, we, we use desktop computers. At home and for all my personal uses, I don't have a uh, desktop set up in my house, and I really haven't for many years. I have a couple old desktops laying around that occasionally I'll do things like hook up to a projector or um, use as a media center or something like that. But in terms of my actual computing needs, it's pretty much all mobile. All right, guys, we're out of time. Thanks to Jason Heiner of Tech Republic and Seth Porges of Popular Mechanics. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and thank you for watching.